Hey, my wonderful, wonderful people, a pleasant morning to you. So the Prime Minister, Prime Minister, well, Dr. Andrew Holness, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, has announced who the new finance minister is. And it has not come as a surprise to many of us because people would have been speculating um, possible people. And one of them came, you know, um, came true. And that is um, Honorable... I see Honorable Favol Williams, formal, formerly uh, Minister of Education. And the reason why it would not be a surprise to many people, it is that when, um, well, when Audley Shaw was the finance minister some years ago, she was sort of like understudying him, work alongside him. So there is understanding there. Um, I have not done any form of research to know what her educational background is like. You know, um, I think there was some kind of linkage where accounting or finance, math, something or other as it relates to money is concerned. So I know that she has knowledge. So it's not a novice. It is not a guinea pig in the, in the, in the portfolio, if you understand what I mean. She does have experience in the position um, I suppose a fear among some is a lot of people. It's not so much about personalities, about character, integrity. It's about transparency, trustworthiness. And we all, you know, the, 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 the fruits of what is required to be a solid leader, solid minister of whatever, you know, portfolio you're given. Uh, but personality does matter for some things. Um, I guess the fear is a sort of lackluster persona. Uh, but we hope that amidst that, you know, she will be able to do her job uh, diligently and honorably. Um, so we watch and see because her predecessor was a very vibrant man in his position at the time. So, you know, I suppose the Jamaican people would want to know that, especially when it comes around to budget, you know, should the party still be in power, that it is read with alacrity, with vim, vigor, vitality, and accuracy obviously and integrity but you know so that is what i'm just defending the point of personality does matter and that people wouldn't want something that is you know very dowdy and dreary and lackluster without energy without purpose not meaningful you know we need that sort of vibrance and that is why god has created us with different personalities sometimes we need to, to take it back but sometimes we need to be flamboyant with it as in when i say flamboyant i mean very just very energetic if you understand what i mean not like goofy and stupid stupid more unlike no we're not talking that we're talking something with sense but with energy so i mean one of the things that i believe in is 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 saying congratulations giving people the benefit of the doubt to see what it is that they can do and will do for the people we hope now that this female first female finance minister i think we've ever had uh yeah I, 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 as, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, if, if, you can correct me if I'm wrong and I stand corrected if I am. It's the first, first female, uh, you're my prime minister. Well, you know what I mean? Finance minister that we have had. And we can only hope that she will be in touch with the infirmities of the people, the public sector workers. We have the civil servants who they are crying out, you know, for change, for some things to be, um, reinstated, you know, for, for uh, retroactive pay or monies to be given to them, you know, allow us uh, uniform allowance, different things. I mean, she can lie with the uh, president of the Jamaica Civil Service Association, Mrs. Tisha Clark Griffiths, you know, and we hope for other things, you know, there are other public sector workers, there are other people in the country that depends on her level of intelligence you know emotional and you know intelligence quotient pull together so that the ministry can be run with precision with you know accuracy transparency integrity and the people benefiting um i see matthew samudo you know is, I, I guess he has re, re, um he's now minister i think that's that was his post you know with a portfolio with for water you know, um, and I think economic growth and job creation. So that's a portfolio that he has been in for a while, isn't it? You can correct me again if I'm wrong. Well, we can only say, let us see what will happen as it relates to, you know, him being in the post. 
that you know especially with the young people and other people benefiting under his portfolio and that you know he will do his job accurately and again i have to mention the words integrity and transparency must be there people should know what is going on we shouldn't just or and things must be done proactively as opposed to reactive you know um yeah so congratulations are in order um until and that we just watch and see you know with patience and looking uh dr dana williams um for some reason i'm i i i'm not i'm actually okay with her being the minister of education you know um fairly young vibrant sort of looking you know and lady nice looking lady and you know seems to have a sort of vibrant in a sense personality and tonality um I, I i'm assuming i can only go on the basis of what i know i mean on the periphery she's fairly new new in a sense to not just the ministry of education but being a part of you know uh the uh, how do i call it one of the front runners in the jamaica labor party when she recently was appointed was it senator you know um i don't remember what ministry she was uh, being a part of to be honest with you um, maybe somebody can just I was looking at it just now. I was only just looking at when the Prime Minister had announced these three people um, And when I saw her name, I said, you know, actually, I don't mind dr. Dana Williams being the Minister of Education, I mean, I, I, I'm, she has a sort of vibrancy which I think the ministry ministry needed at this point in time fairly young bright, you know um, and uh, if it is a passion of hers and if you know she means business and there is a, a definitely transparency and accountability and hard work smart work then the ministry can strive and thrive and do very well you know um we hope that our children will benefit you know because unfortunately you know with the last um exams that took place they're the gsat and the cxc there you know or the equivalent of gsat you know what i'm talking about i don't remember the names but coming all the way from common entrance to gsat to whatever it is right now honestly the name eluded me but you know what i'm talking about and even at the higher level you know the primary or prep and secondary level they didn't do so well you know especially in the areas of english and mathematics and we we can only hope that her being in this ministry you know with every good leader the body will be firm and strong that her leadership and her expertise or skills or her her abilities her talents you know will definitely garner and create waves and change for the ministry um again these are you know um with favor williams she's not new to the ministry of finance you know as i said she worked alongside the former minister of finance audley shaw Minister Audley Shaw, um, and for Matthew Samoda, I don't think he's really new in this post, really, uh, because it did say, I think I read when it says he retook this post, and well, Dana, again, another new position for her um, in some sense. I think she was something to do with, um, she was some minister of, something to do with, like, or oh, you would have AI or um, some something to do with whatever it is. It's not AI people, but I just could remember. And I'm not looking at anything right now to give me the information. But you know what it is. You can go and read, you know, um, the whatever information it is that you would need as it relates to the three people or whomever it is. But I, 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 I don't get a, I get a good feeling, as I said, with especially Dr. Dana Williams being the now Minister of Education. Um, I don't see it as a bad move on the part of the Jamaica Labour Party, in particular the Prime Minister. Um, and we're hoping, and we use the word hope, you know, because hope has to be the foundation of faith. Without hope, you won't get to faith. So you have to have hope to get to faith. You know, it is the doorway to faith. There's not another doorway. You need to go through hope. So hope is a necessity. So we hope that all three people the three amigos will do well in their position you know we we can only congratulate them wish them well don't wish them bad you know in spite of whatever it is and we just hope that they will do well in their ministry 
All right, and again, I'm 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 comfortable with Dr. Dana Williams with the Minister of Education. Guys, you know what to do. Read TikTok and YouTube. Subscribe. Give me a like.